Let's set up now for just a normal coordinated stall out of the left-hand turn. So I'm going to roll into about, oh, I don't know, about a 30-degree bank. Airspeed's coming back through 75 knots. The power is back. We're just going to let the airplane come up and to the buffet and stall. And when it does, I'm just going to relax the back pressure and do a series of secondary stalls as we maintain this turn. So the nose is coming up. Notice the speed with which the nose is tracking around the horizon. There's the buffet and the stall. We just could bounce the airplane around the sky like this, descending, and you'll see that there's a great tendency for a wing to uh, drop either left or right as long as we're coordinated. Okay, Back through 5,000 feet, we'll add some power. We'll do the same thing with the right-hand turn. back through 5,000 feet and 100 knots in the climb, so I'm going to start bringing the power back again. I'm going to do the same thing. Power is coming smoothly back to typical sort of approach configuration, coming through about 80 knots now. And we're in this right-hand turn. Boulder traffic, got to have one climbing 4,000 a mile north of El Dorado, dry lake southbound Boulder. Again, we're just going to keep this bank angle constant, decelerate the airplane smoothly, keep the turn coordinated. Notice the speed with which the nose is tracking around the horizon at this bank angle and rate of turn. So here we go. Coming through 75. And here comes the buffet. And as we stall, we just relax the back pressure. There's no tendency for a wing to fall off. As long as we're coordinated and as long as we relax the back pressure at the buffet, I'm not doing anything with power at this point. You can see there's no great uh, tendency to roll and start that auto rotation that's the hallmark of a spin.